What you're looking at here is a high level architecture in terms of how our synchronization framework works. We can synchronize with both streaming uh, sources in real time as well as batch data sources. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through a very simple example of a batch connection with the Salesforce um, platform. So with the batch sources, you essentially synchronize them through the Cinchi worker into the fabric. And we do this by setting up a data sync configuration and running this through our CLI. Here I'm showing you an, an example of, uh, of a Cinchi instance. This is just a local dev environment that I'm working on. And I have two tables. So I have two nodes on my fabric that I'm synchronizing to. One of them is companies, one of them is contacts. Let me go ahead and open them both up. Let's see that the company's data set currently has no data in there and same with the contacts. So I've gone ahead and actually map this to records in Salesforce. So how does that work? Well, I set up two different synchronization configuration files. One of them is for companies and one of them is for contacts. So in Salesforce, we have a connector, right? So the connector essentially has all the information in terms of the auth URL, the client ID, the secret ID, the username and password, as well as the object that I wanna synchronize. All the information I need is set up in the uh, Salesforce uh, client. So when you log in here and set up an app, you'll see where you can find your consumer key and your consumer secret. Once you go ahead and set that up, you can now begin mapping the source data to your target data in Cinchi. And Cinchi, as I mentioned before, we have the company's table and it's part of the customer's domain. So the company's table, part of the customer's domain. And I'm taking the different fields in Salesforce and mapping them to my Cinchi target. So I've got ID, name, billing city, billing state, and billing country in Salesforce. And we map that to ID, name, billing city, billing state, and um, country into Salesforce ID, name, city, province or state, and country within my target table. If you look at the um, company's record here, you'll see that these are the column names that I have in Cinchi. So essentially all we're doing is a very simple mapping exercise between the source and the target. I'm setting up what the synchronization key is gonna be on the target. And we're also gonna specify how we wanna treat new records updated records and records that are deleted. For contacts, we've done a similar thing. If I look at my contacts table, it's very simple. I have a Salesforce ID, I have a full name and a link to a company record. Um, if you come back here, you'll see that in Salesforce, I'm now syncing the object as a contact and uh, I'm gonna bring in the ID, the first name and the last name uh, and given that I'm only think I only have a full name column in Cinchi, I'm doing a very simple calculated column here. So this is a virtual column where I'm now specifying a concatenation formula to create that virtual full name column that I'm now going to synchronize to the full name field in my target contacts table. The last important thing to note is that we're also bringing in the account ID. This is the company record in Salesforce because we're creating a link within Cinchi, the account ID is actually pointing to the company and the company is a link. And hence I wanna specify what the link column is. And this is what is the column in my target table, so in the company table, that I'd like to resolve this account ID to. Finally, I also set up the record behaviors here for inserts, updates, and deletes as well. So let me go ahead and show what this looks like. So let's look at the company's table. Let me pull up my CLI and I'm gonna run a basic uh, CLI command. So I'm gonna, let's run Salesforce companies. So I've called this data sync Salesforce companies. That's the name of the config. And um, I'm gonna run it using the sync command in the CLI. So the command needs the server, the user ID, the password, the model, um, the feed and the temp directory where this is going to run. So coming back to the company's table and my PowerShell, let me go ahead and run that. As you can see, I've got my server, my login credentials, the model, 
sync and the temp files. When we run this, we'll see that it's connecting to both the source in Salesforce and the target in Cinchi. It's gonna go ahead and verify how many records are in the source, how many are in the target. This is 436 in Salesforce, zero in Cinchi. It's gone ahead and created 436 new records and it's reconciled this to 100%. Coming back into Cinchi, if I refresh this, you'll see that there are now 436 records and um, we still have to do contacts. So let's now go ahead and run the same command for the contacts data sync config. When I run this now, um, let's see how many records we have. It's first going ahead and getting all the linked records. So it's getting the linked records from the company's table. It caches that for the purpose of the sync. And it identified that there's 587 contacts in Salesforce, zero in the target. It's gone ahead and created the 587 in Cinchi and it's reconciled at 100%. If I refresh this, you'll see that the contacts are now in and they also have links back to the original company records. When I click on this company record, it takes me to the company as well. So this is uh, an example of a very simple synchronization you could do. Again, to summarize, we created the model within Cinchi. We created the data sync configuration files that I need for each sync for each table. And then I ran the CLI to run it. So hopefully that was very helpful.